So why fasting is invaluable for metabolic health. Now, many of you might be looking at the mitochondria graphic that's on here and saying, I have no idea what this is. Our mitochondria are the powerhouses of our cells. They get damaged over time. If you're north of 40 years old, you very likely have dysfunctional mitochondria. But fasting is one of many ways that we can improve the mitochondria. When we fast, we actually will use the ability, once we're metabolically flexible, we will be able to tap into fat stores for energy. We use the term fat oxidation, but the way, kind of layman's way of looking at it is it helps you burn fat. And it's, there's a really cool way of looking at fat. Fat isn't just fat. Fat is this incredibly sophisticated inflammatory process. Now, most adipose or fat tissue is white fat, but we can actually transition fat from the white fat that's inflammatory and non-beneficial, we can actually make it brown fat, which is metabolically active. And we can do that while fasting. I know that um, Dr. Lesky already talked about the importance of the gut microbiome. Well, fasting is critically helpful and beneficial for gut health. So we talk about it helps with the gut microbiome balance, aligns with circadian biology. One thing that I didn't touch on is that we have we have circadian clocks, not just in our brain, but throughout our gut. This is why eating within three hours of bedtime is not particularly helpful, not only for sleep, but also for blood sugar, because we become more physiologically insulin resistant as the day goes on. So I always talk about how fasting can be very beneficial for aligning with chronobiology. We know that fasting helps with the small intestine. We have this amazing system called the migrating motor complex in our guts that the only way that it is really working efficiently, it kind of works like a sweet sweeper. The best way that it works is when we are not eating with meal frequency. It actually needs four to five hours for it to work properly. We know it also, our gut microbiome is critically important for neurotransmitter. Um, our last speaker, we heard her talking about how she had crippling depression, even as a child and young adult. And so the gut microbiome is critically involved with neurotransmitter production, serotonin, dopamine, et cetera. We know that you know, when we help to enhance the mitochondrial function, it improves our energy. So many people, when they're new to intermittent fasting, will say, I came to intermittent fasting to change body composition. I came to lose weight, but I stayed because I felt so damn good. I know we're getting a little technical here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this slide because what I want to spend more time on is the gender differences. So there's a lot of technical terminology that goes along with intermittent fasting. We talk about the role of NAD, which is um, a form of gas that we can use for these proteins called sirtuins. We know that NAD actually declines with age, and it can be improved with fasting. It can lead to more energy and more anti-aging benefits. I think a lot of people choose to focus on the physicality of fasting, and what I like them to focus on is all the things that go on under the hood with the body. We know that autophagy, which is this really cool term, autophagy actually allows your body in a fasted state to go in and get rid of diseased and disordered cells. Cells that could potentially go on to grow into cancers or could make you more likely to develop neurocognitive disorders. Autophagy is only upregulated when we are not eating. So when you eat, it, dis it slows this and actually ramps up another type of um, mechanism called uh, mTOR. We know that fasting, you know, people talk about all the mental clarity they have when they fast. All of a sudden, they feel like they can get so much work done. They have so much mental clarity. And it's because as our body is able to go in and break down these special types of fatty acids, we get diffusion of these ketones right across the blood-brain barrier. It's called... Um, why did I just have a brain fart? Um, it's called beta-hydroxybutyrate. Too many Bs in my brain. We know that fasting is beneficial for immunity. I know for a lot of people, you know, we're, we're not entirely out of this pandemic yet, but I remind people that fasting is actually incredibly supportive for immune function. You think about when animals are sick, they donate, they may drink, but they're not eating. And much like I encourage people when they're not feeling well, if you don't feel like eating, don't force yourself. Your body can do all the cellular work behind the scenes. We know that fasting also reduces inflammation and actually helps slow aging.